Casa Valentina is set in the most extraordinary environment to tell a story. Uh, it's the 1960s in the Catskill Mountains, which is just outside of New York. And it's a resort um, where gentlemen, uh, the majority of which were married, come to spend uh, their vacation dressing up as their uh, alternative selves, uh, their female personas. It's uh, an annual event where they can <laughs> let their hair down, quite literally. If you imagine what it must have been like in 1962 as a straight man to do this, to, to kind of go away for a weekend and just become a woman, it's kind of extraordinary. It's really surprising and fascinating, some of the things that we find out about them through the course of the play. It is a very interesting topic, uh, not, not just the topic of men having the urge to cross-dress, but the implications on how women feel about that. I think it's very topical. Um, there's a lot in the spotlight at the moment about transgender people and their, their journeys and their issues. I think Caitlyn Jenner may well have loved the weekends at Casa Susanna. I think it's, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful concept. The one thing that drew me uh, towards the play was this whole idea that everyone is unique, that everyone is individual. It's a beautifully written play that has a lot of heart and uh, it's funny and it's bittersweet and I think it's something that everybody can find some empathy with the characters on some level. Uh, I think it's a story that needs to be told and will interest, I know, an enormous number of people. It's written in a way with so much fun, so much humour, uh, so much camaraderie between the characters um, that it's something that everyone can get their teeth into.